the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to you in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send a just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops, and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind in his bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love of the Immaculate and Eternal Heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the intercession of Our Lady of Consolation. God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our mother of consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica through the conversion of the Son Augustine, help all those in her in the consolation. United with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
kabayan. Iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahana ng aking lahi. Kinukupkop ako at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntuni ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. The Gospel of the Lord according to St. Luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 31. The Rich Man and Lazarus Once there was a rich man who dressed in purple and fine linen and feast every day, at his gate lay Lazarus, a poor man covered with sores, who longed to eat just the scraps falling from the rich man's table. Even dogs used to come and lick his sores. It happened that the poor man died and angels carried him to take his place with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried from the nether world where he was in torment. The rich man looked up and saw Abraham afar off and with him Lazarus at rest. He called out, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus with the tip of his finger deep in water to cool my tongue, for I suffer so much in this fire. Abraham replied, My son, remember that in your lifetime you were well off, while the lot of Lazarus was a misfortune. Now he is in comfort and you are in agony. But that is not all. Between your place and ours a great chasm has been fixed so that no one can cross over from here to you or from your side to us. The rich man implored once more, Then I beg you, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to my father's house, where my five brothers live. Let him warn them so that they may not end up in his place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. But the rich man said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be conceived, even if someone rises from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord